Hi everybody, it's Jeremy from The Ishes, and I'm here to talk to you about taking pictures and videos while on the go. Now, photos and HD videos are something that every modern smartphone is capable of, and what a lot of manufacturers actually trump up about their devices. But, what's their performance like when compared to a, um, a real dedicated device? Well, I just got myself the Panasonic ZS20. For those of you outside of the United States, you may better know this as the TZ30 and decided to put it head to head against some of the devices that I had laying around just to see what the actual quality is between the two different platforms. As you can see from the examples, the smartphones I've used do indeed take pretty good um, pictures and pretty good video, but the dedicated camera does edge them out in overall picture quality, performance, and speed. But the really impressive thing is the actual video quality of the ZS20 versus the phones. Now, to be fair, I actually purchased this camera based on its video performance, and Panasonic does have a reputation for making devices with outstanding video capabilities. But even still, this camera is able to record videos at up to full HD resolution, that's 1920 by 1080 at a frame rate of 60 progressive, so that's 60 progressive frames per second at a full 1920 by 1080 Yeah, the file sizes are absolutely huge, but the quality is great and no available smartphone is actually able to do that and yeah that does include the iPhone 4s the HCC one series the Galaxy S3 and even the 41 megapixel 808 pure view but of course don't be surprised if you start seeing features such as that show up in smartphones within the next year year and a half one of the things that they're pushing hardest on the phones is always their video and picture capabilities now in addition to this um, camera taking decent pictures it's also got GPS built in, which allows you to geotag your photos and your videos while you're out on the go. In addition to that, it actually does have built in maps with landmarks on it. So if you're nearby something like um, in Orlando at Disney or just little spots around your area, it'll actually tag you at those locations, which will then show up in the metadata on, on the uh, pictures and videos that you post. Um, this camera is also capable of taking panoramic shots, so you can just kind of do the and get a full view. I've been trying it out. For some reason I've been having some stitching issues. Every now and then though, um, you know, it does take, you know, an absolutely impressive uh, panoramic shot. Not really something that I use uh, day to day, but it is actually a pretty fun feature. Um, the camera also does on-device HDR, which is pretty good performance. I mean, it's not anything outstanding, but at the same time, this is a $250 device. Um, this camera also has a ton of scene modes, so you can just set it and go depending on your situation. Has actually a really impressively good um, auto feature. Uh, Panasonic calls it the intelligent auto function, but it's actually um, really good and gets the settings right for most situations. And, um, you know, it's really good for when you just want to, you know, pull out the camera, take a few quick shots, put it back away. Um, but it does also do um, full manual mode, which allows you to adjust the um, aperture and shutter speed on the device, including the ISO and is actually a really quick shooter. This camera is capable of up to 10 frames per second on stills and is even able to do um, high-speed videos. Um, you know, the fast 10 frames per second when you're shooting pictures can be really useful if you're trying to catch some, um, something that's happening really quickly, whether it be sports, wildlife, or anything else like that. The high-speed video, on the other hand, kind of a novelty feature, but still fun to have. And, um, you know, of course, the most impressive part of this camera, um, aside from the good picture and video quality, is the fact that it actually has a super high zoom. This camera is actually capable of 20x magnification when you uh, zoom all the way in and out, which is actually pretty impressive when you consider the overall size of the device. So, I mean, here we have a 20x zoom on a device that is able to easily fit into um, the pocket of most pants, shirts, or jackets. Now, um, you know, a lot of you are going to be saying that, um, hey, my current device is good enough, or hey, the device I'm going to be getting next year, I'm sure that'll be just fine for me. And you know what? Good. Most smartphones right now are more than capable of taking great, if not absolutely phenomenal pictures and videos. Um, but for those of you who are <clears throat> serious shutter bugs and want a bit more flexibility but aren't ready to jump up to like a compact series camera like the Sony NEX series or the um, Olympus and Panasonic Four Thirds line of cameras or even a digital SLR, 
something like this may be what you're looking for. Uh, me personally, I purchased this because I wanted something that was more capable than the devices that I have currently, but wasn't too expensive. This is only, like I said earlier, $250 you can find it um, online for, but it's still much better than any of the dedicated devices that I have right now. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind, and not only is this particular camera good, but also most compacts and most super zooms that are available on the market right now are going to outperform your uh, smartphone 99% of the time. Overall, I'd say that this device is really great. I absolutely love it. Um, been snapping pictures almost everywhere. Um, trust me, the missus is already really pissed off about the fact that I don't leave this at home um, whenever we go out. Um, does really good video quality. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record this video using it because, well, <laughs> I'm using it right here to show it off to you. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping to start using this very soon for the videos that I bring you guys and on my own personal channel. And, you know, of course, if you want uh, more videos, feel free to subscribe. Um, hate the video, love the video, leave a comment down below. And, um, you know, check out the blog. The link will be in the bottom. And if you have any questions and want to get in touch with us for anything, feel free to shoot us a line. The um, email address is going to be left in the, com in the description below. Okay, thanks for uh, watching, guys, and take care.